Hi, it's Molly McDonald for DemoGirl.com. It's Friday, January 22nd, 2010, and this is your complimentary tour of MyWeddingBinder.com. My Wedding Binder is a really great tool to help you plan each part of your wedding without in-your-face ads and message boards. After you log in, you can go ahead and add your entire guest list. It's the typical info like the name, bridal party, and then what parties are attending, the engagement party, the shower, and the wedding itself. Then you can add their address, whether or not their invite has been sent, what they RSVP'd, and then information about the gifts, what they've sent, and if you've sent them a thank you. Once you've added all of your guests, you'll have a summarized view of who's been invited, what they've responded, and then reminders about gifts and thank you notes. You'll also see how many people you've invited, how many are attending, and you can easily export your guest list. You can also filter your guest list view by things like bridesmaids or bridal party. You can create a budget and Wedding Binder gives you a suggested percentage of what you should spend on each part of your day, broken down by what you put as your initial budget. Then you can put in what you actually spent here so you know how much you're working with. You can add information for all of your vendors so that all of their contact information is in one place. You can add reminders to your calendar for things like picking up the bridesmaids dresses, cake testings, and you can have these reminders sent to your email or text message as well. And here they are on my calendar. There's also a helpful timeline suggestion of things you should accomplish within the time frame of your wedding planning. You can set up your wedding registry here. Add all of the songs that you'll be using throughout the day. and create the seating chart, and this is super easy to use too. Since Wedding Binder knows how many people you've invited, you can simply enter in the number of tables that you'll have, and it will put the chairs out accordingly. Your guest list is here, so you can just choose a table number where each person will be sitting, and once a seat is taken, it will be highlighted in red. And you can easily remove people and add them back later. There are templates you can use as guides for things like wedding programs and announcements. And then of course the ever important checklist area. You can create checklists for everything from florist to attire. Once you've done something on your checklist, like bought wedding shoes or hair accessories, you can check it off the list. And then you can keep adding more items here. There's also a notes section where you can create categories for things like hotel and honeymoon. And then you can add notes to each category for things that you need to remember. When you visit your dashboard, you'll get a summary view of things coming up, as well as a tip for the week. All in all, my Wedding Binder seems to give you a really clean and organized space to plan your wedding. That's all for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you back at DemoGirl.com.